Yeah, like people who are trying for JRship, like firstly, you have to keep on checking the websites of all the hospitals because they take out the vacancy notice. And within a week, there is usually the interview or the mock test. So you are short on time with that. So you have to be regular with checking the websites and like maybe they can subscribe to YouTube channels like yours, which where they get updates. So there are also very WhatsApp pages or Telegram pages where you can be associated to know the job updates so that you don't miss out at least on few hospitals which are putting across the JR ship vacancies. Secondly, there is very less percentage of chances that you get select in a JR ship. It's so less seats. So you don't have to be like, that's the only thing to work in a hospital. And if you're not getting work in a hospital as a JR, that you are not that good, or you can't get exposure to the patients, you sure for sure can get exposure in anything else as well. It's just that it's a preference that you get to expose, you get the exposure of the government hospital. So because there are seats very less, usually people get disheartened that you don't you are not getting GR ship. So you can go for the Andre one like me. Like I didn't get the paid one even after giving interviews and something. So I went for the Andre one because my main focus was to get the exposure, gain the confidence and the clinical skills. And you can earn your whole life, honestly. And eventually you have to go to the clinics and stuff. So initial four, five months or six months, you can be selfish and give it to your skills and increase and enhance your skills because eventually all will work that is your handbook and nothing else will work. For the JR ship, it's basically uh, the junior residency of the JR ship is usually in the government ho hospitals only, not for the private. So the government hospitals take out their vacancy through their websites. Like for dental department, it's usually two, three, four JR. Some hospitals offer SR ships for like specific branch, that's a senior residency for MDS people. But for BDS, they are very limited JR ships, uh, paid ones. And so they take out few hospitals have the mock test, like the written paper for the MCQ basis. Different hospitals have different patterns, like 20 questions, 30 questions for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But it's basically an objective one and MCQs. And on basis of that, they select a, a according to the category, like whether you are general OBC, some hospitals have the category, like there are two seats for the general, one for OBC, one for SC, depending on the category. And then according to the result, uh, mock test, like the MCQ objective one, after that, they, some hospitals go for the personal interview and then shortlist the candidates for the JR ship. Some directly on the basis of the mock test, select the candidate for the paid JR ship. So the person who has scored highest will obviously be the paid JR ship. Uh, depending upon the honorary JR ship, like I am an honorary doing it, a junior residency in one of the government hospital in Delhi. So for me, the interview was not on the mock test. It was on personal level. Like I visited different hospitals and asked them that if you have an honorary JR ship post because I wanted it for the exposure. Because even after completing the internship, the expo amount of exposure you can get in GR ship, especially in the government hospitals, is unmatchable. With the uh, exposure, usually there are some eligibility criteria with the GR ship. Like uh, once your internship is complete, you can only apply for GR ships post two years of it. Suppose if your GR ship is completed in 22 December 2022. Mm -hmm. Then you can only apply for JR ship till 2024 December. Right. After two years, you can't apply for JR ship. So these two years, just after you have graduated, are basically like the golden years to learn all the skills. Because eventually, whatever branch you cho choose for MDS either, or for like your own clinical setting, or for doing a job, or even after going for non-clinical way, business job, whatever you go for. But those two years is the only chance you can get yourself exposed to the JR ship in the clinical setting of a government hospital. Otherwise, you won't be able to give 150, 200 patients exposure every single day. And that is for a basic normal hospital for the famous hospitals like Ames, RML in Delhi, like Molana Azad Hospital. The OPD goes even higher than 200, 250. Yes, for the mock test for the written papers of the objective, 
the thing is they usually don't ask that deep they usually ask for the clinical things like what material do you use for restorations what are the ingredients in that materials like the basic clinical things which they know you will use on daily basis mm -hmm. on patients and the materials you use and uh, how will you diagnose that what is the difference between this type and this type in x-ray how to differentiate that they basically focus on the clinical settings so like the questions which I have come across are like few like, like ingredients of like what composites used, what's the difference, what material is used, uh, suppose there's a material called dical, what all is used in where and what all does it contain, what are its advantage or disadvantage, like if you are mixing suppose one of the semen GIC for composition, for restoration, sorry, then uh, how to mix it, what's the setting time, uh, like do you mix with steel spatula or like plastic like very clinical oriented okay. questions like like if uh, you have allergy of suppose penicillin then you should have an alternate medication uh, and basically your know, final and third year courses in my BDS that mm. are not too deep but yeah, that are more clinically oriented right. so they just see that you have the basic knowledge of everything and the one who gets higher is usually selected because they are very very less seats for the GR ship